Well, deadly accidents should have decreased during the pandemic, but they didn't. One big reason, distracted driving. Students at Richard Hardy Memorial School recently received a high-tech lesson that could save their lives. See what they learned tonight's What's Right With Our School. What our simulators do is we give people a chance to see for themselves so we don't have to tell them things they already know or try to convince them things. We put them in the situation and then they just get to find out. When you just hit that point, you know, it's it's over. You can't, you'll overcorrect or you won't correct enough and you're, you just crash. It's obvious, but it's something we forget about. Busy day-to-day -day, day -day lives, we're trying to take care of things and that's the whole point of this uh, uh, program is we know what's important, but we forget why it's important. So we've kind of shone a spotlight on that best we can. Without a doubt, they're different than what a real car is, right? But do you still get the point that they're trying to make? Like, we just add a cell phone to that one. It doesn't change how it drives the whole way through. But once that phone was in your hand, even before you looked at it, I bet it was a lot more difficult in that moment. It definitely puts into perspective, like, when you're driving, it definitely shows you that, like, this is no joke. Like, even if you think you're okay, you, uh, you really aren't. Like, you, you uh, definitely see what it's, what it's like to be impaired when you're driving. I'm just hoping that they get a real life experience without actually having to go through a terrible situation themselves. Driving it in itself is multitasking. You're constantly paying attention to other things around your vehicle that you don't control, but you have to watch out for, um, and you're just adding one more thing into the mix. Everyone talks about distracted driving and things cell phone, and that is a huge part, but I always make sure to emphasize that if it's not driving, it is distracted driving. So eating, smoking, your friend in the car, crying baby in the back seats, all those are distractions from what you need to be doing, which is focusing on driving. I think as long as we get to one person, I feel like it's really worthwhile. Um, I hope everyone takes it in, but you can't always be, you know, that fruitful. Now, if you have an idea for a story, go to our website. It's WDEF.com. Look for the icon that says, What's Right With Our Schools? You'll find a link to post your story idea.